Hello guys! Today, I'm gonna show you how to get dynamic highlight on pretty much any iPhone. Running iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2. This could also work on some iPads running iPad OS 16. Who knows? Anyways, let's get to the tutorial. First, we must download Santander to modify EOS. Bruh, this narrator can't pronounce iOS correctly. Wait, it just fixed itself. EOS. Never mind. Open Safari and go to Zoo Stop Me. Now that you're at this beautiful website, scroll down and tap on Mac Dirty Cow Apps. Scroll down and find Santander here. There it is. Tap on Get. Then tap on Open and Install. Just look at how fast that install. Now tap on the three dots at the top. And tap on Go To. Then tap on Other. Now paste the path in the comments section. Tap on Cash Extra. Now search for Opeak. Whatever that means. There it is. Now find for artwork device subtype. Now the value you will enter will vary on the device you have. If you have a Pro Max iPhone, enter to 1556. But if you have a non Pro Max iPhone, enter to 1795. And make sure to screenshot your old value because you will need it if you want to remove the dynamic island. Screenshot this part. If the app hangs up, it means you have succeeded. Now time to rest break. OMG that's the dynamic island. Wait what's that? There's a red bar. Well turns out on non Pro Max iPhones the resolution will change. Which triggers this red bar on iOS. The dynamic island still works perfectly. But the red bar is pretty annoying. I tried this on a XS Max and it didn't have any issues. Here's proof. There should be a fix for this in the future. Anyways, the Emma show you a demo now of this dynamic island with no speaking.
That's the end of this video guys. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment. And please subscribe.